High above a concrete ramp corridor, a massive industrial spool slips free, and gravity turns it into a fast-moving, uncontrolled rolling hazard. Never, ever store or stage heavy cylindrical spools near elevated edges or above open corridors. Do secure rolls against movement and block drop zones below. And don't rely on balance or friction to hold heavy round loads in place. A large spool at height stores potential energy. If its center of gravity crosses the edge, it drops immediately. Its cylindrical shape converts the fall into rotation, building angular momentum. On contact, it may continue moving rather than stopping, with low rolling resistance allowing it to travel unexpectedly far and redirect force in unpredictable directions. Treat elevated spools as runaway wheels waiting for release. Chalk and restrain them, guard all edges, and enforce strict exclusion zones beneath elevated storage. Control the roll before gravity does. In an open loading yard beside an active trailer, a forklift surges forward with a full wrapped pallet. While a pedestrian drifts into the exact space the machine can't stop or steer away from, pedestrians and forklifts must never ever share the same open operating lane. Do separate people and machines with marked walkways, barriers, and a spotter, and don't rely on eye contact or hand signals to manage heavy equipment movement. A loaded forklift has limited braking and steering authority, the wrapped load reduces visibility directly ahead and raises the combined center of gravity. When the operator accelerates or turns, momentum builds quickly and stopping distance grows. Steering changes also lag because the front end is carrying the load and traction varies on yard surfaces. Any object entering the travel path cannot be avoided once momentum is established. Especially without hard physical separation, forklifts don't share space safely. Keep pedestrians out of travel lanes, enforce right-of-way, and stop the job the moment the lane isn't clear. On a roadway, visibility and predictability collapse. The mast and carriage reduce the operator's forward sightline, and other drivers aren't expecting a narrow, extended steel profile occupying their lane space. With limited suspension, different braking behavior, and a fixed projection, the safe stopping and passing margins that work for cars don't work here. So the only reliable control is eliminating exposure by lowering, securing, and isolating the travel path. Forks don't move out of the way. They claim space. Control the route, lock down the hazard, and keep the forks down. Inside a small shop corner, a routine grab at a box on the floor suddenly triggers a rapid pressure release that fills the room in seconds. When handling batteries, power packs, or unknown electrical boxes, workers must never, ever open strike short or disturb them without proper isolation, identification, and protection. Uncontrolled energy release can occur without warning. Electrical storage units can hold significant stored energy. If internal cells are damaged, shorted, or overheated, that energy can release rapidly as gas and heat. When pressure builds faster than it can vent safely, the enclosure becomes a rupture point. The sudden release expels smoke, fragments, and force outward, displacing nearby objects and rapidly expanding through the surrounding space. Because failure happens internally, there is often no external sign before the release occurs. Treat unknown or damaged electrical units as charged hazards. Secure the area, avoid direct handling, isolate power sources, and use proper procedures and PPE. Stored energy doesn't announce itself before it escapes. Inside a busy convenience store, a single unsecured ladder suddenly slides sideways mid-climb, turning a routine ceiling task into an instant loss of control. A ladder must be stabilized at the base before climbing. Secure it mechanically or block movement so it cannot slide, because an unattended base turns the ladder into a moving lever under load. When a ladder is loaded, its weight creates both downward force and outward force at the base. If the base is not anchored, friction with the floor is the only thing resisting that force. As the climber shifts position even slightly, the horizontal force increases. Once friction is exceeded, the base slides suddenly, converting vertical load into rapid lateral movement. With no restraint at the base, the ladder moves laterally faster than stability can be maintained. If the base isn't secured, the ladder isn't safe. Lock it, block it, or anchor it before climbing, because once an unsecured ladder starts to slide, stability is already lost. Beneath a truck bed on a dusty worksite, 
One cut from a spinning grinder suddenly turns a tension chain into a snapping release of stored force. When cutting tension chains, straps, or binders, workers must never, ever place their body in line with the load path. Do release tension mechanically, block movement, and position yourself to the side before making any cut. A chain holding load stores elastic energy along every link. When a grinder cuts through a tension section, the metal doesn't fail gradually. It separates instantly. The stored energy has nowhere to go, but back along the chain's shortest path. That causes a rapid recoil as the freed section accelerates back along the load path toward the release point. The grinder doesn't reduce the force, it simply removes the final restraint. Once the cut completes, the energy release is immediate and uncontrolled, far faster than balance or reaction can compensate. Never cut first, control later, relieve tension before grinding, stand clear of the load path, and treat every loaded chain as a stored energy hazard waiting for a trigger. Inside a small commercial kitchen, a routine task near an open flame suddenly turns the room into a rapid pressure and fire release zone. When working around open flames and flammable containers, crews must never, ever place sealed or partially sealed containers near heat sources. Always keep fuel, solvents, and pressurized or vapor holding containers well outside any ignition or heat zone. A closed container exposed to heat begins to build internal pressure as its contents warm and vapors expand. If the container cannot vent safely, pressure rises rapidly. Once a weak point fails or vapors escape near an ignition source, the expanding gas ignites. The rapid expansion forms a vertical fire plume and outward force, pushing heat and combustion products through the surrounding space. Fire doesn't need a mistake, just proximity. Separate heat from containers, ventilate in closed spaces, and treat any sealed vessel near flame as a potential pressure hazard waiting to release. In a quiet kitchen workshop, a spinning drill suddenly breaks through the surface, and the wood snaps out of control in a split second. Never, ever drill into thin material without anticipating breakthrough kickback. Always secure the workpiece. Support the exit side with backing material and keep your body and hands out of the drill's reaction path. A drill delivers constant rotational torque while cutting. As long as the bit is engaged, resistance stays balanced. The moment the bit breaks through, resistance drops sharply, releasing stored rotational energy. That energy forces the drill to rotate in the opposite direction, causing sudden kickback. If the work isn't clamped or backed, the bit can catch and the drill can twist before the trigger can be released. Breakthrough is the most dangerous moment of drilling. Clamp the work, back the exit side, brace the drill, and expect kickback every time. Control the energy before it controls you. On a roadside service setup, a routine moment turns wild when a pressurized gas line lets go and a loose pipe starts whipping with uncontrolled force. Treat any pressurized hose slash pipe as a live motion hazard. Secure and restrain lines, verify connections, and keep a clear exclusion zone before charging, venting, or working near the system. When gas escapes through an unrestrained line, the outflow creates a powerful reaction force in the opposite direction, jet thrust. Because the escaping gas isn't perfectly steady, the thrust pulses and the line begins to snake and whip. Each swing adds momentum, and the moving line can change direction instantly as it bounces off the ground or nearby objects. The result is an unpredictable moving hazard zone until the pressure drops or the flow is isolated. Control the line before you control the pressure. Restrain hoses, protect fittings, and clear the discharge path. Because once a pressurized pipe starts whipping, the hazard moves faster than your reaction time. Inside a busy auto bay, a box truck rises on a two-post lift, then suddenly tips sideways, turning solid steel into a falling wall. No one can stop. Never, ever rely on a vehicle lift unless the load is centered, balanced, and fully supported. Do verify lift arm placement and vehicle stability before raising, and don't allow anyone near or beneath a vehicle until the lift is proven secure. A two-post lift supports a vehicle only within a narrow stability footprint. If the truck's center of gravity sits outside that footprint, due to load distribution, arm placement, or vehicle geometry, 
Gravity creates a growing tipping moment as the lift rises. Once that torque exceeds the lift's ability to counter it, the vehicle rotates off the supports. The mass of the truck then drives the motion, pivoting downward until it contacts the floor nearby structures. A raised vehicle is only as safe as its balance. Confirm arm contact points, check load center, clear the bay, and treat every lift as unstable until proven otherwise. Because once gravity takes control, there is no recovery window. And don't forget to share what you learned today in the comments. Your insight could save a life. Take care.